The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. In number 10, we have a word problem here that's about exponential growth. So we have that a number of bacteria is increasing exponentially. Remember that your exponential growth formula is going to be P equals A E to the KT. So what that is is, uh, actually I guess I probably should write this in a different order. This should be P and A. So P is your principal, your starting amount. A is your accumulated amount or your final amount. And then E to the KT is your exponenti exponentiation constant times the time. So let's set up both equations for what we have. After two hours, there are 150. So we don't know how much there were to begin with. But we know that if T is 2, our amount is 150. We also know that after six hours, there are 1350. So our objective here is to figure out how many there were initially. Well, you can see here we have two equations and we have two variables, p and k. Those are what we don't know. So we can definitely solve this. When you have exponential functions, you can't really do any sort of uh, combination method. What you can do, though, is divide both equations, just like in uh, how in combination mode, uh, combination method of solving a system of linear equations, you would possibly subtract both equations. We can do that with division here. So we can do 1350 over 150 equals p e to the 6k over p e to the 2k. So what we did was just take 1350 and those, put them on the top, 150 and that one, put them on the bottom. That has to be the same thing. The reason I'm doing this is because now the p's will cancel out and you'll have one variable, which you can definitely solve for. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we need to do a couple of different things here. First of all, if you divide this, the zeros cancel out, and 135 divided by 15 is going to be 9. On this side, we have e to the 6k over e to the 2k. Remember that if you have exponential terms with the same base, when you divide them, you subtract the power. So 6k minus 2k gives you e to the 4k. Doing this, we can solve for k. And then once you have k, you can plug it in to get p. So solving for k here, we have to do the ln of both sides. So we get that k is equal to ln 9 over 4. You can plug it into either equation, but let's just do the one that has the smaller numbers. It'll usually be easier. So we just plug in k there. So we get 150 equals p e to the 2 times our k, which is ln 9 over 4. Well, this 2 cancels to make that a 2. So we get 150 equals p e to the ln 9 over 2. Now what you want to do here is that, remember that the e to the ln cancels out if you just have ln of something. So what we want to do is instead of divide by 2, think of this as 1 half. 1 half times something and divided by 2 are the same thing. The reason you want to think about that is that now this 1 half can be a power because it's a coefficient in front of the ln. 9 to the 1 half power is 3, because that's the square root. So this is equal to p e to the ln 3. Now, e to the ln 3 is just 3. So we get 150 equals p times 3, dividing by 3 gives you that p is equal to 50 bacteria, which is answer choice b. So you absolutely need to remember 
this equation to set it up. And if you have a problem like this where you have two equations and two variables, always remember that you can either do substitution or potentially divide both equations like this, but an adding and subtracting way of combining these is not going to work. So solving for one variable and plugging in would have worked as well, but I chose to show you this method because I think that works a little bit faster. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.